Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are gonna do some ramen tutorial in Blender 2.8. Okay, let's start now. First of all, oh shit. Okay. Okay, first of all, create a plane. Um, okay, then go to modifier, particle system, and then we go to the particle panel. Set the number to be 30. Why 30? Why so little? Because in a bowl of noodle, okay, you can see how many strings in noodle. It can't be 1,000, right? Usually around 20, 30. <clears throat> so it makes more sense. Okay, and the uh, here, emitter set to here. And now it looks pretty short as a noodle. Actually, we just scale down the plane. And then, okay, we need to reset the scale. Okay, and then go to... um. Da, 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 da. Path, path. I think we don't. We just leave it here. It's now. It's three. Okay. Viewport display. We set as high as we can. Maximum seven. Okay. So we can start out here. Object mode. Go to particle edit. Use the comb. We can use F, F key to scale up and down. Just use your mouse to control the brush size. I think bigger is quicker. And here, the path step, it's default was 2, but I, I have do the practice before, I said it's 10, so it's a matter. So we go for a 10, so we can see the transformation in the real time. Otherwise, if we set it like 2, it would be like this. So okay, we keep it as 10, so we can see the final result quickly. Okay, we try to roll up all this string, like uh, just like how the normal ramen noodle looks like okay about like this and later on we will we create a bowl so we better prepare to make it like a bowl shape at the bottom okay make some wave shape Okay, it don't have to be so detailed because we get, we can modify it later on. Okay, I think it looks good. <laughs> no, it doesn't, but it's okay. Okay, we go back to the object mode. Go to the modifier. We convert, and Blender will duplicate another set. In case you screw it up, then you can still go back to the particle planner. Okay, now we can maybe just hide it. Okay, keep this at the middle of the scene. Okay, go to Edit Mode, tap Edit Mode. And now we can modify all this string with the G wrap tool. We turn on the this one called, what is that? Proportional editing, yeah. We turn, we press O to open it. Off, on, off, on, okay? easy so okay now we press G to move the vertex until it looks right okay okay we can rotate it that's why I scale up the brush so large so we can do it a lot quicker okay top view da, 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 da. Okay, maybe we expand the area here. I don't know, it should be larger. F, no. Undo. <clears throat> oh. F. Oh, what? What F key didn't work? Oh, okay. Score up and down, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, in animal, score up and down for her. Grab brush to scale the brush. I forgot. I mixed up with the. Okay. Now it looks like this. At the bottom, we don't really have to worry about it because it's at the bottom. We can't really see it. Just roughly make them look like a, a pack of noodles. Okay. Okay. 
we move a bit here. There. Okay. So now, what should we do? We should convert it to become a path. Okay. Okay, I gotta forgot. What is that? Convert. Okay, object convert to curve from the mesh because now it is a mesh. It is not a. It is not a curve. Okay, now they become curves. Okay, and then now we need to create some noodle. The cross section of a noodle. Okay, shift A, curve, circle. Okay, put it right here. Scale it down. How big it should be the noodle? About like this. But we can resize it if it doesn't get. <coughs> it's not right. Okay, and then right click, press this one, and then we go to the context. Yes, three D. Blah, blah, blah. We don't need to worry about this, just leave it like this. And then the geometry. Okay, go to the taper object. We should choose this little circle we just created. Ah, no, not taper. It should be brave, table, table object. Ah, oh, where? Ah, oh, that's my circle. Right here. Yeah. Fill cap. So, fill cap means here is now a hollow noodle. If we fill the cap, it will just fill the cap. <laughs> and then, ta da! The noodle is complete. Later on, we will add some material to make it look better. But now, for now, we can uh, select it, object, uh, shade smooth. <clears throat> make it look smooth. Noodle should be very smooth and shiny. Okay, now create a bow. It should be real quick. Uh, UV sphere. Yeah. Scale it up. Add it more. Okay, we got the wireframe view. Vertex. Select the upper part of it. Of the vertex. Delete. Delete vertex. Okay. Now we have a basic shape of the bow. Okay, we may move it <coughs> at the center of the noodle. Make sure the bow is big enough to contain all the noodles, but now it's too big, like a salad bowl. Okay, go. Okay, scale a little bit around here. Go to the top view. Okay, we jump back to the solid mode. Okay, some noodle will pop out here, but we can fix it later. We make both first. Okay, up, add it more, delete the bottom on the vertex, so we can make it flat. Fill F key to fill it, and then the outside of the bowl. Okay, we can use the the even quicker way. We can use okay first of all, subdivide it, okay, two, go back to object mode. Shade smooth, and then we use the solid by so give some thickness of the bow. Okay, we move on top, make it thicker, maybe 0.1. Wow, maybe too thick. 0 0.05. Okay, looks good. We can click apply, and then we go back to add it more. We make uh, the little, you know, the stand of the bow, the leg stand. I don't know how to call it. Scale it up. I ah, know. Turn off the proportional editing. We can press O or uh, click it to disable it. Okay. E to extrude. Go down. Okay. At the bottom, we don't see the bottom, so just it doesn't matter. Even it's all filled up. Okay. Add more loop cut. Okay, loop cut. Control B. Okay, I do first. Okay, Control B. Oh no, Control R. Sorry, Control R. Add the loop cut and pull it up. Okay, now maybe too small, but it's mad. Okay, go to wireframe mode. We select the bottom of the bowl and then we scale it up, but scale it without the Z axis. So S. Shift Z 
and scale it up. Okay, so it will scale up the x and y axis without the z axis, so it won't be, it won't scale up the height. Okay, now looks good. <clears throat> okay, time to modify the noodle. See here, the noodle pops up. Go to edit mode. Very easy. Grab and then turn on the proportion editing. Right, now where the hell we are? G. What? 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 Edit mode. Hmm? We are in edit mode. Okay. G. Grab. But where it? Ah. Uh, okay. G. Okay. Pull it in. <clears throat> We can make the noodles spread even larger so it looks better. But it doesn't have to be too tidy, otherwise it looks fake. Okay. Material. Okay, camera. Oh, zero to camera view. Okay, it looks about it, like here. And we can preview it. See what ran the engine. I'm on cycle. I prefer cycle because it looks better. Okay, gypsy in the preview. To have a quicker preview, we can turn on the render region. So any where outside of the region, blender will not render it. So it makes a lot quicker. Okay, give some color to the bowl. Here, select the bowl and then material new call it bow usually Japanese they like the black color and then inside is the right uh, inside is the red color red color inside and black outside but oh, just make it black it doesn't matter and then it should be quite shiny make the roughness to be point one yeah that's good okay and then noodle the noodle is a little bit different from the usual material we we've done before uh okay we okay i i do too quick i think okay go to the corner you see the cross here and then pull it down you will have a new window and then come to the top left corner go to the shader editor okay it's empty now because the noodle don't have any material okay here we click new material material new so you see it pops up a new principle shader the noodle should looks a little yellow it depends on what kind of noodle Chinese rice noodle looks completely white so but we are making ramen so it should be a little bit yellow very very subtle and then okay here comes a problem the noodle looks like okay we go to it EV engine loads a lot quicker. EV. Da, 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 da. Ah, it looks. Okay, go back to cycles. Or maybe I use the. I only focus on a part of the noodle. Control B. Okay, we only look at this part. So it loads quicker. It looks very solid. It doesn't look real it looks like plastic so we need some subsurface subsurface color here inside of a noodle it can be white or a little bit yellow but it should be same like the outside of the color or even white but it doesn't really matter if a very 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 tiny bit of uh, yellow is almost white actually and then subsurface the better we give it on one and see what happens it takes longer for a blender to render. So it looks so many noise, but when you render it, it will look fine. Actually, the, the subsurface let the light penetrate inside the material of a noodle, so it looks a little bit like it. Just like you put a finger under the light bulb or under the sun, you will see the the the, 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 the rim of the, of the finger or the outside of your finger. It looks a little bit red because the light penetrate the skin but the inside the middle of the finger it looks completely dark it similar theory okay we can't really see it here but later on we can render it and we will see the final result okay 
we can stop here and then later I will show you. Come back from the rendering and I just forgot to do something very important. Uh, before we create a plan of a noodle and I place right in the center of the noodle. So when I do the rendering it keep coming up I was wondering why there is some tiny wires there. The wire is from the curves. So I stop the rendering and remove it and do the render again. But anyway, it finished. Ah, no, 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 no. The render is like this. You can see the subsurface taking effects right here. You see the very tiny orangey pinky color because of the subsurface, the light penetrating in the noodle. So we have some, it looks more, a lot more softer. But it's still not finished, and that's today the tutorial, the tutorial only about the ramen noodles. And next chapter, we will create some soup. So everything looks so complete. Actually, not complete. We still need some more ingredients. But I don't know how many chapters I will do it. Maybe three or four. But just keep watching and follow. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.